a recent drain cleaning job on our bathtub in the master bedroom made us realize that we couldn't fit the snake down in through the drain. So we had to remove the pop-up. Now this pop-up is a push-pull type. Currently it's in there loose, but last night we couldn't get it to budge. So what we ended up doing, we took a shop rag in a box, or a heavy-duty towel or rag will work fine. We used some slip joint pliers. Uh, channel locks are the most common name. The ones we have are rigid plumber's slip joint pliers. We grabbed the knurled knob, protecting the finish with that rag, and just squeezed and turned until the knob was loose. Then we unscrewed it by hand and pulled the pop-up out and away. Now, we need a special tool to remove this piece. You see the cross pattern there. We need a special tool that's going to grab those arms of the cross and turn it. Now this tool I picked up probably at 15 or 20 years ago at Ace Hardware. You can see it's made of cast aluminum and it has on both ends a large and a small. It looks sort of like a castle turret sort of thing and those uh, slots go over the bars now there's two sizes you have a small size and a large size and if the large size doesn't fit just flip it over and put the small size in now in this particular one the large size is the one you want to use drop it in place and make sure that the uh, bars are engaging in the slots. Use a socket extension and in this case it's a half inch socket and a half inch ratchet. Set the ratchet to counterclockwise rotation. Give it a couple of quick turns and then just unthread it the rest of the way with your hand. Once you finish removing the old piece, you perform whatever operations you need to. In this case, I had to clear a bunch of gunk out of the tub and then screw it back down by hand, making sure that the gasket is evenly sealed as you go. You don't want one side of the gasket to squeeze out and the other one to be rolled under. Um, roll it in by hand as tight as you can and then just pop the socket and ratchet back in, set the ratchet to tighten, and just make it snug enough. I don't know exactly how to describe it. I grab the ratchet by the head and then turn until my wrist stops. Then you uh, just hand tighten the pop-up, test, and there you go. And that's it. There's really nothing more to it. All right, folks, this has been Dave with Dave's Workshop and Border Sport Outdoors. And I uh, wish that you get out to your shop, be busy, be productive, but most of all, be blessed. And I'll talk to you later.